We're all familiar with how the uh, rib pro works. Um, uh, you've seen us cook ribs on it, you've seen us cook steak on it, turkeys, um, rotary baskets, uh, rotary spits. We do all that. And today what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, our indirect heater box. Indirect heater box uh, for slow cooking, smoking. Today we're going we're gonna to slow cook a prime rib. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of apple chips to it. I just want to show you, uh, if you're familiar with the chute that we use when we, when we uh, cook turkey. We want to add a little bit more charcoal in there during the time uh, turkey's cooking and have a little uh, uh, guillotine gate here that lets the, so you can get the charcoal in and out when you do the turkey. So what we got today is our heater box attachment. Box attachment is going to just indirect, indirect heat. Um, just slide right where that chute was. And uh, now the guillotine gate actually acts as uh, as your uh, heat control. So you can let more heat in or less heat in. We also got some heat vents on either side that we can let more air in underneath. Um, chute opens up so you can put charcoal in or out in, in the unit or we can open it all the way to get the, grate, the charcoal grate in and out. Um, closes right up like that. We're hoping today to get this thing running at about 375 degrees. Come on over here Joe. We've got some charcoal cooking in this one right here. We're getting pretty close to up to temperature here on this. Uh, we're hoping to get to about 350, 375 degrees. Uh, we're going to sear the prime rib. Uh, maybe we ought to walk over and see what the prime rib looks like. Sure, why not? We're not ready quite to go on, but we've got a 19-pound got prime rib here that we're going to uh, put on today. And uh, today we're going to be using what we call our, uh, our, roast, our roast pan, and it's designed so that when the roast or whatever you put on there, chicken, um, you can put vegetables, that type of thing, fish, whatever, uh, so that the heat comes around it and then we get the correct flow of heat around the piece of meat. So we're going to see you in a little bit, uh, we're going to put the meat on and we'll see what happens here.